print email Facebook Twitter more John McRoberts trial, police commissioner's strategy seemed reasonable to minister, court hears it seemed reasonable to give travel agents suspected of defrauding the anti-health department a chance to make amends and pay money back, former Northern Territory Health Minister Robin Lamley has told the Supreme Court, Ms Lamley began giving evidence in the trial of former anti-police commissioner John McRoberts, who has pleaded not guilty to attempting to pervert the course of justice between May and November 2014. Mr McRoberts is accused of trying to deflect a travel agent fraud investigation, which had marked Shana Kamatsis, who Mr McRoberts had been in a sexual relationship with, at the top of a list of high-risk targets. Investigators were looking into the conduct of 27 travel agents, suspected of invoicing the NT Health Department under a pensioner concession scheme for inflated flight costs. The court heard Ms Lamley met with Mr McRoberts, then NT Chief Minister Adam Giles and then NT Health Department Chief Executive Len Notarez in late June 2014. Mr McRoberts led a discussion about next steps for investigating the travel agent rorting, including a so-called civil strategy, Ms Lamley told court. He advised that in the first instance it would be better to not proceed with a criminal investigation, that in the first instance it would be better to send letters to all the travel agents identified, giving them notice that there had been an overpayment, Ms Lamley said. Giving the travel agents a chance to make amends seemed reasonable at the time, according to Ms Lamley. During cross-examination, Mr McRoberts' lawyer Anthony Elliott drew attention to Ms Lamley's lack of diary notes from that time. When I was dismissed from cabinet by Chief Minister Giles my diaries and my notebooks disappeared, Ms Lamley said. I kept notes on almost everything I did, they were removed from my possession. MT Finances questioned in court earlier, former MT under Treasurer Jody Ryan, now the MT Chief Minister's Department Chief Executive, told court she was surprised and a bit annoyed about the civil strategy proposal. Mr McRoberts indicated that he didn't think there would be enough evidence and therefore we might be going down a civil route, which might involve writing to the travel agents, Ms Ryan said. Ms Ryan was also questioned at length about the state of the NT's finances in 2014 and whether NT police were under financial pressure. She said the situation wasn't perilous, as suggested by Mr McRoberts' lawyer. The finances of the NT have been in a difficult state since the global financial crisis, Ms Ryan said. I wouldn't describe it as being in a perilous state at that time, compared to what we have now. The court also heard evidence from former NT Health Department Risk and Assurance Services Director Dean Gardner, who was responsible for reporting suspected fraud and corruption within the department to the chief executive. Mr Gardner told the court his travel agent fraud investigation file went missing. I've got no idea what happened to my investigation file, he said. It was kept in my office in a locked 